Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we all love Christmas, but even better than Santa, I had Julian drop by the house, Julian from Opal Empire and Jewelry, and he has dropped off a couple pieces to work on, and it's a bit of a mixed bag. He's given us an absolute challenge, but we'll go with the layup first. Have a look at this. When Julian says something is gem grade, this is the kind of stuff you expect to see. Some people throw the term around quite uh, liberally, but he really does have some absolute gem grade stuff. Now this is all a bit of fossily, fossily material, so a nice bell knight point here. There's a little bit of potch on one side that I'll see if we can just reduce slightly to get through the skin, because this one's already been rubbed quite aggressively. Really, it just needs a bit of a quick polish, but it's, it's absolute crystal gem material. Tiny bit of a plug in the end of it. He basically wants all of these pieces you see here just tidied up a bit, not modified too much. Don't want to drill out the little plugs on the end of them. He really just wants them kept to shape and polished, which I can well and truly do, especially with pieces like this, which are 99% already there. But he has given us some trickier ones. We'll get to the last tricky one at the end. But you can see here, underneath the tiny bit of crust, all we're going to see is this absolutely insane gem quality material here. When you start talking about thousand bucks per carat, this is minimum what you want to expect. This is getting right up there. A couple hundred bucks a carat. You can't let this go. And like I was talking to him about on the weekend, if he were to just sell this stuff as is with the crust on the outside, I reckon he'd be selling himself way short. He just rubs all of this up. Or, well, we're going to go all the way through to a polish, but minimum, you have to rub this up, show it off. Because this opal, it just sells itself. I mean, look at it. My camera and lighting isn't even set up perfectly. This stuff looks incredible in hand. Absolutely insane. So here's another piece here. Unfortunately, this one is kind of... There you can see is the center core. So this would have been... A massive, massive bell knight, but we've just got a fragment of one wall of it, and we're just going to tidy it up. On this one, we're actually going to remove a lot of this and make it nice and flat, and maybe have it sit up like this, but with this fully revealed. And what will it reveal? It'll reveal absolute beautiful material. It's almost got the Ethiopian finger-like pattern running up the side here. A really strong color bar. Yet again, another one, just absolute gem quality material. This one's actually pretty clean. It does have the core, but the core ends kind of just here, the point it finishes. So I could really tidy this one up a bit. We'll just get rid of the jagged edges and brush it all up. And this one's going to be the proper gem multicolor, multicolor crystal. It's all crystal material, and you can almost see there, just in that top corner, you can see that sand core. That's how clean it is. You can see right to the right to the point. But it's such bright material that once cut and polished, you're not even going to be able to see through the crystal, even though it's so transparent. Because all you're going to be assaulted with is this absolute sparkly gem. If this was whole, my god. Julian would be looking at houses because he could trade one in for a house. It would be absolutely amazing. Absolute disco. And then the final piece. Now this one, this is the tough ask he said ahead of me. You can see here that there's this nice little, nice little tube up the top. But it's kind of welded together with a lot of this other fossil-y material. I've got no idea what this actually is. And I thought at first that it would be easy to separate this away from the rest and get a nice little tube and then try to find something in the rest of it. But what Julian actually wants is basically for me just to scrub it up and get rid of the sand and keep the entire thing as intact as humanly possible. Now I'm hoping that they don't just fall apart because I'm seeing somewhere like here you can see that it looks like it's just the sand holding it together. But if any of the opal meets the opal and it's welded together, we should be able to keep it as one piece, and if that's anything to go by, you can see how gemmy all this material is. How it forms this clean, I have no idea, but it's, yeah, it's in amongst the sand, but where the opal actually is, where it's fossilized, it is a pure 
clean crystal gem. So that's all the work I've got ahead of me. I'd like to give this one a quick, quick little polish up because it's uh it's a layup. It's definitely not like I've got to do too much to it. It's already shaped exactly how he wants it pretty much. I'll just see if I can clear this side up a little bit more because I just want that potch gone. And if it can look a bit more like this side here, we are absolutely flying. So an easy one, but if you guys kind of comment which one you'd like to see, maybe if I line them up like this, so we've got top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and middle. And you guys can have a little vote and let me know what you think and which one you want to see on the channel first. I mean, I'm definitely doing all of these and I'll probably do more than one in a video because it is just like a quick crust removal and polish. So they don't actually take that long, even though we'll, this one in the middle will take quite a long time and I'll be working on that one over the course of a couple of days, most likely. But yeah, by all means, feel free to vote. Like I said, just pick your top left or top right or whatever and let me know in the comments. We will get to all of them, but if people are really wanting, say, this one, we'll definitely prioritize and do that one first. So let me know, and yeah, I'll see you when I'm working on those pieces.